This is Durnan Down at Clifton in Bristol. And in the 1830s, this whole landscape was a quarry environment. And what the workmen found in their excavations were the remains of hundreds and hundreds of fossilized bones belonging to a dinosaur called Tychodontosaurus. During the ration stage of the Triassic period, about 208 million years ago, this landscape was a shallow marine environment. The bed of the water came from the early Carboniferous period, about 130 million years earlier, and had over time been eroded away to form some deep fissures. These fissures started to fill up with Triassic sediments, and amongst this infill, the remains of several dinosaurs have been discovered. In the 1830s, hundreds of fossil bones were recovered from the excavation works here at Durnham Down in Clifton, Bristol. It was when these bones ended up in the hands of surgeon Henry Riley and the curator Samuel Stutchbury that this creature was given a name, Tychodontosaurus, the socket-toothed lizard. At the time of the discovery in 1836, no one knew dinosaurs were actually a thing. In fact, the idea of large extinct reptiles was relatively new. Megalosaurus itself had only been described in 1824. Despite Richard Owen establishing Dinosauria as a taxonomic group in 1842, it wasn't until 1870 that Thomas Huxley recognised Tychodontosaurus was actually a dinosaur. The remains of Tychodontosaurus included several hundred bones from multiple individuals. Now, sadly, having survived for 200 million years in the Earth, they barely lasted a century in the hands of humanity. In 1940, at the height of the Blitz, the Bristol City Museum was bombed and the blast devastated the geological gallery. Some of the fossils fortunately survived and together with samples from other museums, we still have a total of 245 bones from the 1830s collection. In 1975, more fossils of Tychodontosaurus were discovered in a quarry in Titherington in Gloucestershire. Altogether, the remains of over 20 individuals have been found. So what kind of creature was Tychodontosaurus? Well, it has a serration hip, typical of many early dinosaurs. It was bipedal. It had leaf-shaped teeth marks on its teeth. A slight reek of nature to those teeth. Originally made paleontologists think that it might have been an omnivore. More recent studies suggest that actually it's probably predominantly herbivorous. It was a relatively small dinosaur at around 2.5 meters long. And it had some sharp and reek of claws, particularly on its forearms. The extended length of the forearms and the very horizontal nature of the animal suggested that it, although dominantly bipedal, it could have walked in a quadrupedal gait as well. Tychodontosaurus turns out to be a basal sauropodomorph, a group that used to be referred to as prosauropods. It represents a branch of very early dinosaurs, when the sauropodomorphs had only recently diverged from the theropods. As a special side note, Tychodontosaurus became the centrepiece for the Bristol Dinosaur Project, an educational and public engagement initiative that began in 2000 and was run by the University of Bristol. With the Tychodontosaurus very much being a local find, the Bristol Dinosaur Project aims to teach children between the ages of 7 and 15 about geology, dinosaurs and paleontology. Tychodontosaurus wasn't the only dinosaur found at Durnham Down. A closely related dinosaur called Asylosaurus yaliensis was also discovered there in the 1830s. Asylosaurus is known from a single partial skeleton that includes the hand and arm, limb pieces, pectoral girdle and associated vertebra and ribs. It survived the Luftwaffe by having been fortunate enough to have been sent off to the United States between 1888 and 1890 as a gift to the famous paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh. Originally thought to be a species of Tychodontosaurus, a study in 2007 showed some differences in the arm and it was given a name fitting to, for its history, Asylosaurus yaliensis, Yale's Sanctuary Lizard. 
Now, for an extra bonus dinosaur related to these two animals, we've got Pantydraco. Now, Pantydraco was one of the few dinosaur finds from Wales. It was found in another Fisher infill, contemporary to the one at Clifton, at Panty Finning Quarry near Bonvilston in South Wales in 2003. The find includes most of the skull, as well as substantial parts of the postcranial skeleton, including multiple vertebra, tibia, fibia, and the right foot. All three of these dinosaurs represent the most basal sauropodomorphs found in Europe. They come from the Eurasian stage of the late Triassic, about 208 million years ago. Tychodontosaurus, Asylosaurus, and Pantydraco are currently the oldest confirmed dinosaur finds in the British Isles. They're from a time when dinosaurs were only just starting to take over the land, and despite their small stature, hints at what was to come. 